Major Slack Attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk this more Necromage Vampire and a little change of plans here. Um, instead of going after a supply of glowing mushrooms, that's coming up next or maybe the video after that let's go after um the steel battle axe of fiery souls which is an iron vine barrow so we can make ourselves a soul trapping dagger we've been avoiding that because previously up to now we've had absolutely no armor to speak of and trying to go through iron vine barrow with those two clowns in sneak mode um, with no armor and no uh, magic resistance, it's just just forget it. Um, what we want to do to start off with is sell off a whole bunch of stuff and do a little skill training in White Run and grab a steel ingot. Boom, one Y slack, so that we can improve the Bloodthorn. There we go. And we should have a black soul gem, an empty black soul gem on board. Yeah, it's going to be very useful. Okay, so let's take care of a little business in White Run. We have the warrior stone hooked up. We can buy some skill training and we can offload a lot of this merchandise that we've been collecting to offset the cost of the uh, skill training the cool. that we're going to have to do without the benefits of doing it with a skill trainer merchant. What time is it? Wait a couple hours to get everybody at their post. There we go. There's Adrienne. And business gear on. Business amulet, black guard's hood. That'll work. Got some good piece. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. What can you afford to buy? You can afford to buy that. Keeping that. This I bought by mistake. I didn't really need it. You can have that. That. Um. These two are for grabs. Hey, how about that? Exactly 489 gold. Boom. That's that. Next. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Let's put on our business, all our business gear. There we go. Double check to make sure we got smithing four times. One, two, three, four. Check a Rooney and fortified smithing potion. Hopefully, we got two left. Indeed, we do. Boom. Down goes one. Let's improve the Bloodthorn. <laughs> Look at the damage increased. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now we got. A soul trapping blade temporarily. Temporarily. Beautiful. Okay, let's go see what Alfred has in his pockets. Go relieve him of some gold as well. We've got small weapon. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, keeping that, uh, keeping that of course. There you can have this. And apparel. Can you afford this? Huh. I think the game's ripping me off again. In practice runs, I was getting a lot more for this. That's funny, sometimes enchanted armor. It's like... Anyways, whatever. Let's make sure I've got all the right gear on. Oh, that's why, of course. Wait a minute. Okay, sorry, sorry, Alfred. That was excusing you, ripping me off. I don't have this on or that on. Okay, there we go. You look like maybe you need to take a look. I look like I need a better price. That's what I'm talking about. Eight hundred thirteen. Boom. That's all your money on. Because of course we don't need poison resistance. Let's go across the street and see what the drunken huntsman has in his pockets. Typically about 750 gold, we could relieve him of that. Hello, friend. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. We don't need this anymore. We don't need the boots, although you can't afford them. These might come in handy. I'm definitely keeping that. No, no, you can have that, that, that. You can't afford that. You can have some of this Penitus Oculatus crap. <laughs> the Predator's Grace boots only sell for 85 gold. How about that? Okay, you can take that off our hands. And that's it. You're down to your last 15 gold. Thank you very much. How much gold do we have? Approaching 40,000. Sweet. Let's go visit Bellator. 
Yeah, since we're going to be buying skill training off Athos, he doesn't buy anything back for. from us. This is the, for... Take a look. the alternative to getting our gold back, just simply running around town and selling everything manually the hard way. Okay, Belothar, can you afford to take... That's a little above your pay grade. Okay, you can have this. And we don't need these anymore. Once again, only 36 bucks. Jeez. You'd think they'd sell for more. We're keeping those. We don't need these either, because we're already muffled. And you can't afford it. Do come back. Now, before we get or buy some skill training. Let's make sure that we got the warrior stone. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, let's get the well rested bonus for right here. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. If it's work you need. Sure thing. It's yours for I'll show you to your room right this way. Need anything else? Just let me know. Okay, beautiful. They should put Athis either in the dining room or in the back training area. I'm gonna guess in the training area. Come on, Athis. There he is. Athis, my man. I never thought they would actually let me join the companions. Hey, how about that? Now eh? it looks like they're letting anyone in these days. Yeah, they're letting dark elves in. They're letting anybody in. I like to train in one-handed weapons, I'll please. Teach you a few things. Okay. Here we go. One-handed up to sixty-five, exactly the where we wanted. Room, right? Now this should leave us just short of sixty-six. Indeed, it did. Let's go up and visit. Girl in Greymane. Empty his pockets of gold. And then we'll get back into the war. Got a lot of steel to shape. Gods be praised. You got eleven hundred and forty six bucks. You can afford some of our pricier items, such as <sighs> debating whether I should really keep this. Yeah, it might be useful. This we definitely don't need. Oh, that's what I should have sold. Okay. Um, next time. And we still got the exquisite sapphire. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's what I wanted to have, about 30,000 gold. So we kind of compensated for spending all that money on skill training. Let's put on our combat gear and go quickly. Capture a soul. There we go, armor rating 570. <laughs> okay, Ember Shard. Mine. Guard. Remember all those free lunches we gave you? Well, it's time to pay up. This probably won't level us up, but it will at least fill up our black soul gem, and we need that. Oh, dude, dude! Oh, jeez. Poor girl. Alright, um... Let's go find some more worthy adversaries, such as the bandits at Treasure Map Camp. They'll probably have leveled up, so they're probably like banded thugs or highwaymen or something like that. They'll be a force to be reckoned with, so we'll have to, uh, you know, use a little <coughs> crowd control. Hi, boys. Remember me? Calm down. Calm down. You look a little dangerous, okay? <laughs> and 
And um, what do we want to do? He liked your caught knife. I can't capture his souls. You don't have any more black soul gems. Well, that level up one head. And there we go. That's that. Who's next? Looks like we got ourselves a hero. Here you come. Atta boy. Whoop, whoop. Okay, one at a time here. Uh oh. Calm. Okay, where's the uh, air? My sentiments exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Need something? Again. <laughs> Three times the charm. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, so mission accomplished. We leveled up one handed. Kind of messy, but hey. Doesn't always work out neatly. And done and done. Let's go after the steel battle axe of fiery souls, which is that iron bind barrel, which is. It's a bit of a ride. We can start off at Angus Mill and then ride all the way up here. It's right around... Right around here. Let's go get it. This should be a cakewalk. And let's wait till morning. Make nice break videos. Okay, Frost, let's ride. <laughs> uh oh, ouch, ouch. Don't make us stop and spank your ass, because we will. Seriously, we got a lot of toys. A lot of toys. We're a destruction mage. We're a stealth assassin. We're a vampire. We got it going on. Okay, Forsaken Kid, I wanted to discover that too. Iron Bind Barrel should be just up ahead. Looks like we got a little bit of Saber Cat action, maybe a Snow Bear or something like that. No, Saber Cat. Up! Yep, up! Watch it, watch it! Okay, that little structure there is the entrance to Iron Bind Barrel. Here's what we're gonna do. These guys are gonna, <laughs> they're gonna double cross us anyways. So let's just kill them <laughs> right off the bat. I've never done this before, but I did in the practice run, it was a riot, so. Powers, embrace of shadows. Kick that in. Now we're going after Beam Jeff first. Then we'll use Calm on the other one and kill her. Treasure, that's what. Get off your scaly rump and let's go. Hush, Salma. We aren't alone. And down you go. Calm. What did you just do? There we go. They're out of the way right away. <laughs> done and done. Let's do this. 
all on our own. Our barrel. Now, um, I should have told you to bring all your empty soul gems. Hopefully you didn't dump them off. So, let's use Bloodthorn in the offhand and collect a lot of souls. Get it done. <laughs> Playing whack a mole here, boss. Ooh, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Hey, you're a big boy, aren't you? Aren't you? I don't matter. Should be clear. To get the gate to open, hit this switch over here. Okay, Draugr, Draugr, Deathlord. Let's go after the Draugr first. Get off to the side as soon as he pops open. Let him have it. Let the Death Lord have it. What do you got on you? Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> Check how close they can get to these skeevers without delivering them. He's got his sneak on. It's the ugly little. Jeez. Isn't that amazing? Got my sneak on or what? Hey there, buddy. Okay, let's just forget about this room. Just bypass the whole thing. Whack this guy. Okay, a couple of droggers in here. Go off to the right. Take that guy down. Take down the Death Lord. Okay, let's take a check up Bloodthorn. He's doing okay. This is a bit of a trap. As long as you keep your distance when you grab this, nothing will happen. You won't get zapped. And now, it's the boss Drugger Cavern. Let's just waltz right in and assassinate him. Open the door. A little bit of paralysis. What am I talking about? A little bit of invisibility. There we go. See, he's not even alerted because he doesn't know we're here. It's super ultra sneaky. We're right up here. And that's it, that's all. This is what we came for, steel battle axe of fiery souls. Get the word wall. Word of power. Become ethereal. Let's loot this bad boy for a couple of black soul gems. And we could... okay, why not? <laughs> Everybody get some. No skeleton left behind. There we go. And we're out of here. See, that's why I didn't do that earlier. Okay, so now we can enchant our remaining legendary elven dagger with fire and fiery soldier app. Let's go do that. Uh, 
up to the HQ of the College of Winterhold. And put those away there, Slacula. I want to alarm the locals. Okay, we should have everything we need. Fortify Enchanting Potion. Elven Dagger already smithed up the Legendary. Let's go do it. And we'll call it... The Fiery Soul Trapper, simple enough. Ooh, and all our goodies here respond. Okay. Um, don't need to put on our business gear. But we do need to take a an enchanting potion. Whoops, I forgot to disenchant. Quickly disenchant that. And item. Elven Dagger Legendary Black Soul Jam. And fire damage. Fiery Soul Trap. Don't need all that time to trap souls. Bring it down to like, say, two seconds. Boom. Rename it. The whoopity bup. The Fiery soul trapper mission accomplished <laughs> now I think that calls for Mr. Burns excellent thank you Mr. Burns yeah I guess those are our new weapons fiery soul trapper and your choice of either the, the electric hot knife <laughs> or the freeze fryer that is it. Now um, we're going to go on a little mission to get a whole bunch of glowing mushrooms so we can churn out a whack ton of fortified destruction potions. That is coming up next video. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.